Americ Stork joined by uh, back from, from across the pond, That's Mike right. Rose from Ireland. Right. Top of the morning to you, Mike. Thank you. I can't even come close to doing an Irish accent. I, I do Scottish when I try to do Irish, so let's not even go there. <laughs> Minute 18 left in the game. Penn State has the ball. It just gave up the lead, and Hagenberg's walking on the field, Christian Hagenberg. And I'm feeling, hey, they got a fighter's chance here. I, they, they might do this. What's going on in the press box at that point? Well, yeah, we, we, we were actually standing. We saw almost all of the fourth quarter from the sidelines. They took wow. us down there and really? let us a little bit of a departure from what you'd see over here. And and I was talking to some guys, and I was saying, they got enough time. They're all right. And, and, and the way they had thrown the ball all day and with the kid that they have at quarterback – who we're going to use that's that kind of phrase is going to be used a lot this fall I think with the kid they have a quarterback they have a shot and obviously uh we got to give the, the kicker a little credit mm-hmm. too Sam Ficken with the kid they have making the kicks uh, I'm so. sitting there watching with Ficken with my hands like this because it's you never know yeah, you, you never, know. never know what you you're going to get from him but he he got four hit four of them in that game four for four he had a great game and he of course he got the game winner and Penn State got out of it with a, a pretty good win Hackenberg 465 yards uh New, new school record, yep. but he, two things. One, he really did a nice job of seeing the whole field. Yep. And you could see him doing the reads and looking. But they changed the game plans went on. The run game wasn't working, and they said, okay, Hackenberg, you, you go do this for it. Yep. And they rolled him out, I thought it was good at times. Yep. Um, did you feel the offensive line was good enough at this point, or, or was this more just Hackenberg improvising out there? I, I, thought there, I thought the offensive line, from the pass-blocking standpoint, mm-hmm. was pretty good. And 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 I you know I, I think Hackenberg makes them a little better than he's got he's one of those guys that has pocket presence and has the feet yeah. to create a little bit in the pocket. There was a couple times when he saw the middle of the field open up and he took off and ran, moved the chains, okay. get down. You know he he he's he just does all these little things uh, so well, and he made some bad throws in the game. There's no question about that. But but uh, uh, yeah, he he's. Uh, he, he's the key. He's the fulcrum to what they are. So a little Brett Favre that he had the pitches. Yeah, and the there you go. Um, biggest takeaways from this game? I thought their defense played very well. I think maybe even their linebackers, who I think the coaches might have thought we're not too sure about these guys. Mm-hmm. I think they played better than a little better than expected. And and F- James Franklin actually alluded to that in his in his uh, in his press conference that maybe the linebackers are going to surprise us a little bit. Uh, uh, so I thought defensively, um, and, and especially now first time through the Big Ten with a new defensive coordinator who does a lot of stuff, a lot of stunts like, and blitzes like that, and things. Yeah, yeah I, I think they might be able to confuse people a little bit defensively. Uh, offensive line is, is is still an issue, but obviously it wasn't enough of an issue mm-hmm. um, to, to really hurt them. Uh, Franklin used the, the phrase a couple times, we're not able to impose our will yet with mm. the running game. He mm-hmm. used that a, he said that a couple times today, and that's still the reality. And I imagine they'll try to run it a lot on Saturday against Akron. I think they opposed the will with their wide receivers, though. I was impressed with these young guys, uh, Deshaun Hamilton. Yep. We knew a little bit what they're getting out of number seven on the other side, Geno Lewis. Yep. But, you know, they He had a great game, though. He had the best game of his career, and obviously De- Deshaun Hamilton may, may have had the best game a freshman receiver has ever had for Penn State. Uh, you know, he, they were both uh, terrific. I didn't think the wide receivers were going to be the issue that a lot of people did, mm-hmm. but they, they uh, I think, exceeded any reasonable expectation. They were really good. Uh Press conference was a little bit ago on the phone. You were on with Franklin, with other reporters. What came out of that? Um, I, not a whole lot. Uh, he talked a little bit about the them not having their headsets for the first okay. quarter of the game. The electricity wasn't working for whatever reason. Maybe they didn't have the right converters. You have to have a special converter to uh, use yes, your uh, electronic stuff over in Ireland, uh, uh, Starkey. But but um, and and did say, you know, we want to win the battle of penalties and turnovers, and we did not win that battle. On the other hand, I think you're going to win. If you have twice as many yards and twice as many first downs, you're, you're going to win a vast majority of the games, and they had both of those things. Short version of this, he did make a comment afterwards about the, I guess, social media on tweets or Got some Twitter criticism about timeout management, yeah. two-minute offense management. Uh, they, I thought they kind of screwed up the two-minute game, especially at halftime, more so than at the end of the game. And he talked a little bit about how they don't like to call timeouts uh, on first downs. They don't like to, uh, they like to save a timeout in case, in a field goal situation, in case it gets blocked and mm-hmm. they, can, they can try it again. And he's very conscious of, it. does the ref stop the 
clock when a guy's trying to fight his way out of bounds. Normally, the ref gets the gives the receiver the benefit of the doubt in that situation. Uh, I'm very conscious of it. I'm running down the field. I'm right in front of the official. If he stops the clock, we don't call it. If he doesn't stop it, I do call it. Mm-hmm. You know, he went into this five-minute thing, which I think was prompted entirely by social media yeah. criticism and was not – nobody asked him a question about it, really, at that, at that point. So that was interesting. So the press conference ran about ten minutes longer than it usually – normally would or let then scheduled to just so he could make this little statement at the end which i thought was interesting akron what should we expect this weekend akron has a veteran quarterback who has good numbers over the course of his career so i imagine they will be throwing the ball a lot and i imagine you're going to see a lot of blitzes to try to mess with his head uh penn state is uh, last i looked was an 18 point favorite they should be okay i think i didn't even think about this i was thinking they were starting classes on monday monday was labor day they kind of got to sleep all day you know i think they're going to be i think they're going to be okay and sort of play themselves through all the jet issues with jet lagging, et cetera. I think they're all right.